Good morning, I'm Dr. Kanner, this is Dr. Gerfrida. And we're going to do something today that's actually probably never been done before. We're going to do a procedure that's designed to fix leg pain and back pain. Uh, this is an individual who is in his young 30s, um, has severe back pain, has had it for years, and also over the past couple of years has developed leg pain. And he has pressure on the nerves that's causing the leg pain, and he has bad joints that's causing the back pain. So what our plan is, is to take the pressure off the nerves using a new ultrasonic technique. And what we're going to do as far as the back pain is we're going to basically take away the sensation to the joints. So rather than fusing the joints, we're just going to take the nerve away that allows him to feel it. So even though the joints will still be there, they'll still be functioning, he won't be able to feel the pain. So if you look at these pictures, what you can see is normal joints in this area. So you see the bone, the disc, the disc is white, it's large, it's full of fluid, the whitest fluid. As the disc degenerates, it goes from a white color to a darker color. So you can see all of the upper discs are normal. And as we get to this area, the discs are severely degenerated. And also you can see the white halo around each one of these discs, which is visible swelling. So essentially, we're gonna stick a needle into the bone and we're gonna take away the nerve that senses that pain. So the goal is to fix the leg pain with a decompression and eliminate the sensation of back pain without a fusion. That's great, and this is a great example of how surgeons and interventional spine docs can work together. Um, the intercept procedure, usually what I've been doing for the last two and a half years, this is a patient that would have done really well from the intercept procedure, just he had severe leg pain. So me and Dr. Jeff Kanner had to work together, hey, how can we get all of this guy's pain away? by doing one simple, short procedure for him and getting him feeling better. So I'm uh, excited to get going here and I think he's gonna do great. The goal here is normally in a young individual, this will be a two level fusion. So when you do a two level fusion, you eliminate these two joints, you're gonna transfer the stress to the one above it. And in doing that, you're gonna end up creating this domino effect. So the goal here is to just hide the pain and not do something to alter the structure. So if we can hide the pain and save the structure, we're not gonna, we're not gonna transfer stress, we're not gonna increase this probability of having a problem down the road. So conceptually what we're trying to do is eliminate back pain. So what's happening is these are two very severely arthritic joints. And the way the body senses pain in the joint is there is a nerve that goes into these bones through the back of the bone, and then the nerve branches off into what's called the end plate. So at each level, we have a nerve coming into the bone, and that nerve senses pain from a damaged joint. So the goal here is traditional techniques, we just eliminate the joint. We go in, we put a spacer in, we make this not move anymore, so the joint's gone. It doesn't move anymore, transfer stress, it really changes the whole mechanics of the spine. So the other option is, okay, well, the joint's broken, the body's telling us it hurts. We don't need to know it hurts anymore, we already know it. So can we just eliminate the sensation of pain? So with this procedure, what we're doing is we're taking a device, and this is the, the tool, this is a wire that goes into the, into the patient's body and it, it generates heat. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll burn the nerve so it can't feel sensation anymore. So we take that, that device and we stick it through a tube and we stick it right where that nerve is. And what it does is it basically fries the nerve. When it does that, the body can't feel the pain anymore. The disc is still broken, the joint still isn't functioning normally, but you just can't feel it. So what it does is it essentially just eliminates the sensation without altering the structure. And what that does, it doesn't change any other structure. So if we do fusions at multiple levels, if we make this all solid, we're gonna transfer stress to the next level and potentially cause some other problems. So in this case, what we've done you can see the area where the decompression was. That's where we went in and actually took the pressure off the nerves. We did that ultrasonically and we were able to save all the tension bands. So we did a procedure, we cleaned the pressure off the nerves without actually interfering with any structure. And now the goal is can we go in and eliminate the back pain also without eliminating any structure. So essentially solving the patient's problem without altering his anatomy. And that's the goal of this procedure.